So I have here a 48 megahertz crystal oscillator from KDS, which dates from probably the late 90s, and it's in this quite small surface mount ceramic package, and I'm quite interested to know what's actually inside one of these. I think we all know what's inside these typical metal can crystals without any oscillator component, it's just the bare quartz crystal that's been metalized and I think some of us have probably seen videos about what's inside those through-hole metal can crystal oscillators. Quite often they'll have either a normal PCB or a ceramic PCB and a 8-pin driver IC and the crystal. But these smaller devices, I'm not quite sure how they do it. Is there going to be a PCB in here or is it just the whole quartz package and is it just going to be direct wire bonding from the die to the quartz piece or have I just been lied to and this is actually a MEMS device so let's just cut it open and take a squeeze so I think I should just be able to cut the lid off this thing with a pair of side cutters although I'm going to do it off camera because it's a bit hard here so I've got the lid off and surprise surprise there's a crystal inside although I don't see the drive uh, although I suspect it's under the crystal was a bit difficult getting the lid off because I thought this gold bit here, this fillet, I thought this was the what was holding the lid on, but actually it's directly under the lid on this silver bead here, which I think is probably solder, and that's what I had to cut. I made a bit of a mess on the right hand side. So taking a close look now at this angle, we can see just under the metalized section of the crystal some gold colored wire bonds as well as what looks like a silicon die so I suspect I'm probably gonna have to break this crystal to have a look at underneath it okay so I think I can just lever this thing out and break off the silver epoxy on the left here and yeah that did it and yep there's the die so I have my macro lens on now to take a closer look and we can see the piece of quartz crystal was resting on three places here of the package. Two of these on the left are the actual gold plated pins that are connected through a wire bond to the actual die and the other one is just a plain piece of ceramic to hold it up. I'm quite surprised actually that it's just held on one side. So zooming in and taking a look at the actual silicon now Unfortunately, I can't zoom in very much, so we won't be able to figure out exactly what's going on. Although, these large repetitive features here are definitely transistors. This one here is probably an output totem pole transistor. These might have something to do with the quartz driving, probably is maybe part of a buffer. This one here might be part of a regulator, as this thing can operate off either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. And these transistors here, I'm not too sure what these are doing. This random looking mess over here is probably the logic that drives everything. It's probably just a divider to divide the higher quartz crystal clock down to the 48 megahertz. It doesn't look like it's complicated enough to be a PLL or anything. These large metalized features over the left here, I suspect this is either selective metalization during manufacture or maybe fuses that can be cut with a laser later on. They're probably to select how many times the divider divides the crystal frequency. It does look like there's some text and logos and probably a mask copyright here, although unfortunately I can't zoom in enough to see exactly what they say. So taking a closer look at the quartz crystal now, you can see it's a pretty thin piece of quartz that's been cut into a rectangle and it's got that quite typical frosted look to it and that quite typical overlapping metalized pattern on it. Although interestingly on the outside facing side of the crystal there's this sort of deposited something or rather on it. I suspect in order for the crystal to be as accurate as they claim, this is probably part of the factory calibration and trimming. I'm not quite sure how they do this. I reckon it would be a very interesting machine that does this. 
It would also explain why this is in a ceramic package, because if, in order to trim the device, you have to put it in a sputtering machine at a low vacuum, you really don't want your plastic package to be outgassing everywhere, and it also explains why having a lid to your package is so useful. So that's what's inside one of these surface mount ceramic crystal oscillators, it's pretty interesting.